We are back with Congressman Mark Pocan, politician and magician, and we're going to do a little <laughs> magic trick now. Sure, I'd, I'd love to. And so, of course, I have to combine this, because really there's not that much different in many ways from being a politician or a magician. You have to be able to have good people skills, read people. Um, some people say, uh, you know, deception might be a little bit involved <laughs> with uh, both professions. Pull, pull rabbits out of hats. <laughs> so we're going to do a little trick. This is my back-to-school case, and I've got some crayons here. And Charlotte, okay. if you'd help me out. Mm -hmm. um, I have uh, an envelope we'll come back to in a minute. Okay. But I have this drawing, uh, a cartoon, a little coloring book page of uh, of course, Donald oh, Trump, here we go, uh, with his cell phone, because, you know, we know <laughs> he tweeting. loves Twitter. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh, Charlotte, what I'm going to have you do, and maybe you can okay. do it for the camera to can see it, okay. is I've got some crayons. If you can just take uh, a crayon out of the box, and okay. uh, when I, I'll look the other way, and then if you can, just color in whatever I tell you to color in, all right? Okay. So is it Charlotte, S-H-A-R-L-O-T-T-E. Okay, there we go. So we'll put your name on with this one. Okay. And when you're done with the crayon, just throw it in the box, all right? So okay. I'll just do it as I say. So I'll okay. turn away. And if you just take out a crayon, if you could, and let me know when you've got a crayon got taken it. out. You got a crayon yep. taken uh -huh. out? Okay, if you can just take that crayon, and why don't you color the tie first, okay? You just go ahead and color in the tie. I'm not, you can see I'm not looking at anything here. I'll even close my eyes if that helps. Mm -hmm. All right, when you're done, just throw the crayon in the box. Okay. Okay, grab another crayon out of the case. All right. Got it. And you got one? Yep. yep. Okay, you do? All right, then why don't you, with this one, why don't we go ahead and um, his hair, why don't we color in that big hey. top of hair he has? <laughs> All right, and when you're done, just throw it in the little uh, case. Got it. And let me know, okay? Uh, why don't you next uh, pull out another crayon? Yep. All right, just tell me when you got, got it. Got it. You got one? Yes. Okay, why don't you take that and let's do the whole suit, okay? And don't forget, there's a couple arms there, legs and a suit. Um, just go ahead and color that in. Pants too? Yep, pants too. The whole kit and kimono. Yep, it's okay. a lot. But not the not the shirt. Not the shirt or the or the tie. I think you already did yeah. the tie. So okay. Okay. And then you can All go right, ahead and toss enough. that crayon in there when you're done. All right. Okay. All right. Pull out another crayon. <laughs> got it. Okay, you got one. Yes. Okay. Um, why don't you take that? You know what we haven't done yet is his phone. He loves that phone and Twitter. Why don't you color the phone up with whatever uh, crayon you have? All right. Okay. Done. And when you're done, throw that in there. And your last crayon, go ahead and take that out. And I think what we haven't done yet is, oh, his face. I think if you can do his face and hands, and there's a hand on each side, uh, in case mm -hmm. you uh, don't see there's a little bit on the other side as well. And then once you've got his face and hands, uh, just throw okay. that crayon in there and just tell me to turn around. Okay, right? turn around. We're good? Okay, yes. I can see. All right, let's see. So you should have a nice drawing uh, all set for us to take a look at. Mm -hmm. Let's see how creative your, your unique talents. Let's see what, what you drew for everybody. Let's. Wow, so you have, um, it looks like uh, uh, blue hair, um, a kind of a reddish face, uh, orange body, green tie, and a yellow uh, phone. 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 Yep. So I had a little prediction here, and you know you don't always get 100%. There's 120 different color combinations of five oh, crayons, dear. but I think we might have got a few of these in here. Let's take a look at how we did. We got what? blue hair, orange suit, green tie. Oh, the only thing we're off a little bit was the hand and the phone. Where's this? Here's the camera right mm -hmm. here. But pretty darn close, not bad. And uh, you oh know, that's again gosh. trying to read people, just meeting for the first time. We kind of figured out. Because this is our first time. It that is we're our first meeting. time, isn't it? That we got that close. So, uh, oh my goodness. 120 different combinations of five yeah, colors. Not so, bad. yeah. That's, that's impressive. Uh, that's some the stuff. blue hair. <laughs> yeah, I especially, yeah. And, you know, his face actually looks better here than I did. I don't know. I was uh, just a little off on that. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. That yeah. really is amazing. And you amazing. were just at a magician convention in Las Vegas. Right. Yeah. And uh, in fact, I was there was last week, and my birthday was last Monday. And while I was there, I've been working a little bit with David Copperfield on this magic as an art resolution. So I get a call from him while I'm out there and says, come by, I want you to see my show, and then let's go check out his, his private museum afterwards. So. We went to his private museum, spent hours, I think finally at about 2.45 in the morning we wrapped up, but it was a great way to spend your birthday with someone who, since I was a kid, following David Copperfield. So you're buds with David Copperfield now. You're text yeah. Admit it, you're texting with David Copperfield <laughs> yes, now. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's kind of cool. When, it's did this bug, when did this bug bite you, as a child? Yeah, you know, I, I um, did it when I was about eight. I'd go to the library and check out books, and um, the librarian asked me to do a show. So in Kenosha, I went to the, uh, where I grew up, the library, they paid me 250 cent down certificates, did a show, went around, did all the magic shows. At 14, I won a junior magician contest in Wisconsin, went on to the Midwest, took third place, helped pay for college doing magic shows.
shows. And then I kind of quit it for a long time when I opened my business 29 mm -hmm. years ago. And I uh, got back to it about six, seven years ago. So uh, some of it's magic, some of it's a little bit of mentalism. But, you know, there is a real tie-in with magic. And I do a video that we put up on our Facebook page uh, every other Monday of me and then someone else on a different Monday. We call it Magic Mondays. So um, I have to come up with a lot of different magic tricks, which sometimes gets and a little tricky. And you explain tricky. government and how it works through explain, magic. Yeah, exactly. Explain how Washington works. So. Interesting. You know, something interesting. Yeah. I was actually trying to pull the red crayon out and I couldn't get it out, so I went for the yellow. Oh, really? Interesting. So that was your first intuition was, was to go there and you changed it. I was going for the it. red and it wouldn't come out, and I was like, oh, we're going to run out of time, so I pulled the yellow out. <laughs> interesting. So That's pretty amazing. I, my so, intuition this yeah, morning was a little closer. It, That's scary, it isn't it? It would have, yes, it completely yeah, it would have been <laughs> Exactly. It would have completely worked. Wow. I was totally going for the red, but it would not come out of the box. Well, sometimes you just wake up, you kind of think these things, and you see where they go, right? So, <laughs> thank you, Mark. Blown. Yeah, thank, thank you. you, Congressman. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Good luck back in Washington. Thank you. We'll see you soon. Appreciate we'll it. Right back with the final check of your forecast.